what's going on guys good morning good afternoon whatever it is for you nice guy driver so I just want to tell a quick story about it has to do with private rides and I just want to make this disclaimer I am not legally set up to do legitimate private rides right now so when I say private rides in this particular form I'm talking cash rides basically I only have like three I am talking about in the next series of videos going private and my journey to that you know but cash rides it's just the skill that it's going to take to convert those anyway so you got to might as well get your feet wet but technically it's not legal you know so i got this one cash ride and this is a warning for you people that want to do these cash rides you cannot build a personal relationship with these people on the lower tier meaning the basic lift and Uber X and I'm gonna tell you why this particular girl I've been dealing with for years for years I would say what two years now off and on though so it's never like it might be like six months straight and then stop and then I'll see her again the problem is we've built a personal relationship during the transactions just talking we never created any sexual attachment or relationship but we got close and I let her get familiar because I let her talk dirty I don't correct her I let her think that we could possibly have a real sexual relationship in the future I let her think that and that is wrong um, she broke so I felt sorry for her so I try to charge her less than I would charge the average person we'll say um, she does work she does have a job she's not physically attractive to me that's where I was wrong and kind of making her think that it was a possibility later. Um, she does work. She's got kids that, from what I understand, she don't have custody. The father has custody. That's red flag number one. And the whole time I've known her, I've watched her lose her apartment in downtown New Britain and had to move to one of those hotels on Berlin Turnpike. Those of you that are um, familiar with the Berlin Turnpike, you know there's a lot of hotels, motels up and down that turnpike. She had to move to one of those, that's where everybody goes when they lose their apartment. They go to one of these motels or hotels and stay permanent. That's like your last resort, other than being homeless and going to the shelter. She's a functional, functional alcoholic. And when I say the word alcoholic, I want to clarify, she's not falling down drunk all the time. But functioning meaning she will actually go have a drink before work and, and her body smell like it. Um, so I could tell she's been probably written up and had issues at work. She works for one of these group homes um, which I have some experience in because I also, one of my last jobs was a group home. So I'm kind of familiar with what she does and I know she's never going to get med cert because of probably the drinking and her not being focused. So I felt sorry for her. I used to pick her up a lot um, on the Berlin Turnpike and give her rides a little bit less than I would charge other people, 
you know, probably $5. I probably would charge people 15 say, from New Britain to Berlin, where she is. She's more like on the Berlin line there, Berlin Turnpike. I charge her 10 she has a habit of, when she does have extra money, will give me $20, thinking that that $20 is going to cover two trips. Meaning, okay, I pick her up one day, just drop her off, and the next day she's talking about, but I gave you that $20 yesterday, this trip should be free. So that's wrong, because she'll make a stop. She's forgetting that I'm already charging you less. You're making a stop. So she'll say, let's say she'll give me $15 one day. She'll act like that $15 is supposed to give her credit for another trip when she'll have me pick her up, Berlin Turnpike, bring her downtown New Britain, make a stop. Uh, she, is, she is pretty quick on the stop, so I'm not going to say she's slow on the stops. But she'll make a stop and got to take her somewhere else. Then the next day, she expects a free trip for that same $15. No. No. When it came to a head, finally, is when I happened to be near the Berlin Turnpike area. Picked her up. Got a good ride off of her. Took her to Waterbury. I only charged her $25. Now, I usually charge at the most 30. I got the $25 off her, out of her. Pick her up the Burroughs Turnpike, which that's like 15. I'm only charging her 10. Take her all the way to Waterbury from the Burroughs Turnpike, <coughs> which is a little bit of a hike. I would say 30 minutes. Um, the problem comes in when she calls me the next day She's in Waterbury now. I'm not even in Bristol, which is a little bit closer. I'm in New Britain. She thinks I should go leave from New Britain, go all the way to Waterbury, pick her up, bring her all the way back to Berlin Turnpike for the same $25. I just said, give me 30. Oh, you're trying to scam me, da, da, da. I was like, here we go. Why did we get to this point? Because she thinks that purely on her looks and her throwing her stuff at me all the time, I don't want to say the word, that like literally throwing it at me. Like she's telling me I can get it whenever I want it, and I know I can, but I'm not, I don't want it. But because I think that women some women, I don't want to say all, think that purely based on their looks, they could get free rides. That's true. But sweetheart, you're not one of them. And that's where the problem come in because I let her get too familiar. We're talking about stuff that was, we've talked about everything that they tell you not to talk about. Religion, uh, stuff of sexual nature, because it's a private ride. It's not on the app, so I'm getting too familiar. Uh, religion, politics, uh, and stuff of a personal nature. Her literally throwing it at me. She tries to call me at night, but I never pick up because I know what that's about. She's drunk, wants me to come over. We already know where that's going. So when you let people get familiar, they want to take advantage of you financially. And I knew this, it just it, it slipped my mind because I knew her for a while. That's why I think I let it slip my mind because I have other women. I have another, I have three people. One's another woman and I got one guy. But the other woman, we, we barely say two words to each other. We hand off cash. And we might say stuff like, it's a nice day today, hope it don't rain. That's the most of our conversation. Also happens, funny, ironically, she's also in that same field. Uh, apparently, a lot of people in the New Britain area are in the uh, group home arena, dealing with the mentally 
disabled and stuff. So we don't, no personal situation, hands me the money, never have a problem. She calls me. If I'm not available, she'll be like, okay, I know she has other drivers. I don't take that personally. I personally don't want to lock down too many cash rides until I go 100% private for liability reasons, obviously, you know, but those were so easy to convert, that's probably the reason why I took those, um, but I don't go out of my way to convert cash rides really too much, even though some people say in the comments, do it, and then you got these diehard app people, oh, you're breaking the law. You know, thank God it's other people out there putting a the message and make me feel a little bit more comfortable about talking about the cash rides. Because on one hand, you know, you got people like the rideshare professor that's totally against it, which I understand. He's like, go 100% private. Don't take the risk. And then you got people like Mike Drop, BBQ. He's like, do what you got to do to get this money and get the insurance later. So you have both perspectives on these uh, YouTube streets. I'm simply saying I want to go that route. That's why I'm gonna do a series of videos of me going that route. But I know truthfully it's gonna cost money and time. You know, I'm in Connecticut. It's, it's, it's gonna be some cost involved. Um, I do think commercial insurance is getting a little bit better. But again, in a lot of my videos, I talk about there's no hybrid version. Um, like other states have their commercial insurance specifically for Uber drivers. We don't have anything like that. We have rideshare insurance, which is not the same as pure commercial. If that makes sense. They want you to have regular insurance and just get the rideshare insurance on top of that. By the done, time you're done paying for that, you're paying for the same price you would for commercial insurance. Right now, if I can find commercial insurance for what I'm paying, which is a little high, for my personal insurance, it's a no-brainer. I do it. It's a no-brainer. You know, and people are saying insurance rates are going down on the personal side, so maybe I need to take a second look. You know, maybe commercials come down even again. And that's what I'm gonna go into these series, what I gotta do, step one, step two. I'm even gonna talk about setting up my, my transportation company with the intent of getting business and corporate credit. But a lot of those videos are gonna be on my finance channels. So my other channels are going to go into actual, the credit building part of it more. And showing you when I get a card, you know. But on the rideshare channels, I got two, kind of. This is the main one. But I also have a kind of personal one. Kind of a personal vlog channel, too, that I put my rideshare content on. So... This is what I'm going to be talking about, like I said, in the next year or two is just me going through the journey of setting up a transportation company purely for the purpose of building corporate credit so I can buy more vehicles, so I can hire drivers, so I don't have to focus on being a driver myself. So that's the goal that we're going into in the next series of videos. So that's what we're going to be talking about. But I just wanted to give you a little insight into my life and my thoughts. I want to thank you guys for leaving more positive feedback in the comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Click that bell icon. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.